Hey everybody, Hector with HM Custom Threads. Today we are going to do a fade wrap tutorial. Uh, what I've done is already cut off some thread here. Uh, there are definitely different methods to doing this. <clears throat> what I have here already is I've got the dowel marked and I've got the uh, I've got the black here. We're using black and orange so you can see the contrast. And I've already put on probably about 10 or 12 passes. Now we're just going to introduce the uh, the orange thread here. All right. Now what we're going to do is uh, do about seven, about seven passes here, seven or eight passes. So we got one. Two. Yeah, make sure things are snug. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. All right, so all we're gonna do now, since I already have this in hand, uh, just take all the excess thread uh, and unravel it or unwind it from the rod dowel. Yes, it might be a tedious process, but produces fabulous results. I'm sure there are, oh my apologies, I'm sure there are definitely different ways or maybe an easier way to do this. Um, this is just the way I learned. So, now what we are going to do is introduce the orange and we are going to lock down or anchor down the black with the orange. So all we do is take the orange, take it over to the left, and anchor down the black. So put it right over the black, hold the black down. You can pull the black over to the right if you like. That'll make it easier. We need one pass, so we're gonna go around it one time. go so now we have one time we're gonna go do the same thing now we have to anchor the orange with the black come over the orange and put pressure down let me go ahead and zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about on the next one that's good right there Okay, now we need six passes of this, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Now we get to, guess what? Unravel the thread. You'd be surprised at where thread gets caught. <laughs> there are plenty of places for thread to get caught. And of course, you know, you can hit the camera while doing it. <laughs> Okay, now same thing here. We take the orange over and we're going to anchor down the black. 
Now we need two passes of the orange. One, two. Take our black, put it back over. Now we do the same thing. Take it over to the left. Pull the orange back to the right there. Anchor it down. You can pull up on it too to make sure it anchors a little higher so it doesn't walk as much down over to the next side there. Now we need five passes here of black. So we have, let me tighten that up a little bit. It's gonna look a little wonky here. One pass, two, three, four, and five. Of course, unwinding the thread is the most tedious part, really. Again, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, easier ways. I just haven't uh, ventured to learn the easier ways just yet. Okie dokie. Back over to the left there. Pull up on it and then down on, pull up on the black and down on the orange. That way it'll keep it a little snug and a little better in line here so it have straighter line instead of walking all the way back around. So now we need three turns. One, two, three. All right, back over to the left there with the black while holding the orange. Pull the orange up while pulling down on the black. Okie dokie, we need four passes. One, two, three, and four. While holding the black, go back over with the orange. Pulling up on the black, holding down with the orange. Now we need four passes of the orange. So we have one, two, working on three, three, and four. As you can see, it's starting to come along. Unwind the thread. All right, back over with the left or with the black. There we go. I kind of skedaddled there a little bit, kind of got to tighten that back up. 
All right, now that's anchored down. Now we need, so we had seven, six, five, four. Now we need three. So we have, let make sure we tighten this back up. That's one pass, two passes, three passes. All right. Moving right along here. If I can stop hitting the camera, that'd be great. All right. So now back over to the left. I'm sure by now you've gotten the gist of it, but again. So we need, we have one, two, three, four, we need five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, dokie, pull up on that a little bit. Transfer it over to the left while holding on to the orange. This orange seems to be getting caught up with everything. I've got a knot in the orange, so we're gonna have to figure that out here shortly. Well, that's just great. There we go. All right. Trying to figure this out. There we go. All right. Almost, almost had a, a snafu there, but we're good. All right. So now we need, we had seven, six, five, four, three. We need two passes. One. And two. Transfer that back over to the left. There we go, anchor this down. Now we need, we had one, two, three, four, five. Now we need six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm gonna have to do this with the, uh, unfortunately with this knot in here, cause I'm not sure if I can get it out. All right, we'll just do it with that. So, we had six. Now we only need one of the black. Come on, Thread, work with me. Okie dokie, back over, pull that up just a little bit. Pull that back over and anchor it down. There we go. Anchor down, now we need just one. So there's our one pass. Now here comes the part where we're gonna have a, <laughs> we're gonna have a knot in there, but it's fun. Demonstration purposes, if it was uh, an actual wrap, I would have already Cut it and redid it. Okay, so now we need seven passes. So one, two, hey, there's that knot, <laughs> three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and 
cut this off over here. Cut the black off because we're no longer using the black. I always try to cut more than I need, that way I don't have a problem with not having enough thread. So, now we get our handy dandy razor blade. Make sure you do not cut your main threads. Cut that off. Now we'll do another five passes. One. Two, three, four, five. Snug all that up. Then what we'll do is throw our tag in. I got another knot over here. Go back up a little bit, put our tag in right over there. Everybody's tagging is different. All right, tag is in. Now we're gonna do another, oh, it was in. <laughs> Come here, tag. Or pull through, rather. I'll call it a tag, jeez. Bad on my part. Okay, five more passes, so. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to have to cut some of this off so I get a knot right there. Hopefully I can get it through there. Okay. There we go. Just snugging it up. You can actually use your packing tool, or burnishing tool. This is just a burnishing tool here. I don't use this one for packing. All right, take your razor blade or whatever you use to cut. One cut. Second cut, and there you have it. If you're liking this video, if you're enjoying the video, of course, we've had some mishaps, but we've recovered. Uh, click like on the YouTube channel, and as well as subscribe, please. And there you have it, there's a fade wrap. And then, of course, uh, you would continue down, you would go down a little further here, however long you wanted it. Now, this is only like a seven to one. Um, you could do 10 to 1. You'd have a little bit, uh, probably a few more steps, of course, doing 10 to 1. It would uh, definitely look better 10 to 1. Then you'd continue on with your orange for a while until you uh, <clears throat> reached your, your uh, measured, pre-measured uh, point. You know, somewhere over here, however, however long the wrap is going to be. And then you'd start again with your orange and then introducing your black all the way back out to black. So thanks for your time. If you liked the video, again, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, HM Custom Threads.